how to customize card page in Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to customize your card page in a Wix website. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you need to sign in or sign up for an account in case you don't have one. So right here, as you can see, we have our Wix site dashboard. Then we have all the website that we have created. Just in case if you don't have a website, you will go ahead and create a website. And this is the first page that it will uh, face you when you finish creating your account. So make sure to choose wisely here the uh the wix editor that you want we have two we have the standard and classic wix editor which is the most simplest and uh we have the wix studio which is more professional so make your choice then as you can see here we have the uh, size that we uh, have created already so i'm going simply to select the site that i have and now it will load the dashboard of it so as you can see here, we have made uh, the um, or made it to the dashboard. So we are going to click on edit site. Then we are going to see the uh, product page. But before we can proceed to the uh, product page or the cart, we can go ahead right there and see the website itself. So I have already loaded or preloaded the website. Now, all I need to do is to head over right there to the left side menu. Then we are going to click on the four squares right there, which is add apps. Now we are on the Wix app market. We need to add something before we can access the carding or the cart page. And this is very logic because Wix or Wix websites is going or are going to be generic and maybe some of them will contain an online store depends on your demand and some of them will not so all you need to do is to search right there for Wix uh, here stores then you are going to see the app for here this is the Wix official app and this is the page creator for the store and also the product page creator and here we have it you're going to click on add to site if it is the first time that you are going to see it in my case i have already installed that specific app so we are going to exit this mode and boom here we have the website and how we can know that we have installed it successfully we're going to click on add elements click on add elements then you are going to see here the store. Click on store right there on the menu. You will see that the store has a lot of elements to add. But if you don't have the store installed or the Wix store is installed, it will let you see here and let you know that you need to install the Wix store. It also can be installed from this one, this specific area. So as you can see here, we have the best sellers, product widget, cart icons add to cart buttons, currency converters, and etc. So now all we need to do is to head over right away here to the pages and menus. Here we have the site menu. We are simply going right there to the online store or the cart and thank you. So click right here on cart and thank you. We're going to visit the cart page. So we click on the cart page, then we are going to face our cart. Here the cart is empty. This is very logical because we have no product bought and we have nothing added to our basket. So here we have the option to quick edit it. Click on quick edit. And here you can see or set the section background. This is the whole section. You can go ahead and set the background of it. So here I have also the card page. We have the manage payments. And also we have the settings. When you click on settings, it will show up right there a menu for the settings. 
So for the main, we have the right to customize the cart page. So when you click on it, it will take you directly to the settings. Here we have what will be displayed. We have shipping and delivery rates in case you are going to add or the client will be adding a product. You are going to show them the, uh, the tax costs, a promo code link if it is available, a add a note also case. And for the continue browsing link, you can go ahead and show that specific link. And where it is or where does it link to? Obviously, the online store to get them back to see other products. For the express checkout, they didn't forgot to add it. They've had shown a button. So you can go ahead and activate this and you will see or the clients will see a express checkout here on the design we have a lot of options you can go ahead and use the full or stretch to full width you can go ahead also and set uh, right away here the background and borders you can set for example let's say here the dividers you can set also the text font and color and uh, here uh, and put the as you can see here the font picker go ahead and choose whatever fonts you want and here we have the color or the uh, font color we have the titles everything is divided to your liking also we have the button styles which is a very very uh, right here as you can see attractive and also very uh, carefully or very careful selected you can go ahead and use not sharpened button like this but the more rounded or the squared one so you can see here that we have the filled and also the uh, outlined only you can put some custom right there here payment methods here we have the text you can see here the labels or the general text and change it for example page title we have the uh, my card continue browsing and etc so Right there, we have finished on the uh, side of the uh, card itself. We have here something called the basket or the card icon. We can also manage and work with this. So you're going to select it, then we are going to click on settings. On the settings, we have the card icon. You can go ahead and modify the card icon, and this will follow right there the customer from the first second that it has um, arrived to the website till the end of the checkout so you can go ahead and see the cart icon choose it wisely and here we have the interactions you can use and change the icon color and set the number and font color for the mini cart right there it will be showing up like an interactive right there menu so you can go ahead the mini card you can set the text and the design of it and this mini card uh, shows customers what's in their cart while they are still shopping in this case the mini card will show up when they be clickable and let them see whatever they have on the basket you can go ahead and show the mini card or open full card page this is an option you are going to right there uh, activate the mini card then you can manage the store from here and also manage the payment and here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one